Every new L1 comes out and says they million transactions per second or, or this, that, and the other. Their performance claims you should never take at face value because those performance claims in an isolated test environment are irrelevant. Running these things on globally distributed Byzantine adversarial networks is a whole different story. So comment one is just ignore their technical claims because they're just apples and oranges. Comment two, and actually this is the more important claim, to the extent someone is faster, it's like how much faster and how much cheaper. Ethereum gas fee jumped up to $1,500 per transaction fee on October 10th. And at the exact same time, Solano's median transaction fees went from roughly a tenth of a penny to roughly three pennies. So the question is, is like, okay, assume another event of similar scale happens. Does enough liquidity and state and on and off ramps and developers and market makers and all those other things, is that enough of a reason to move all of that stuff from, let's say, Solana to Aptos or to Sui based on what we just observed on October 10th? And I'd argue the answer is no, 